Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. Uh, you may not know, but I did get a gypsy for my birthday this week from my dear husband. Isn't he sweet? Uh, and I want to show you that I'm using the gypsy in the same way that I'm using, that I use the design studio. On my gypsy, you can see this on my gypsy I save some of my sketches I'll just open a saved file and there is one of my sketches it's for a birthday I thought it would be appropriate to do a birthday so I designed it exactly like I did before with my design studio. Uh, I opened it up on a 12 by 12 mat, put everything the way I wanted it. Um, then I copied down all the sizes that I made everything because I'm not quite sure of how to transfer things over. Yeah, let's get this sitting down straight. Okay, then I copied everything the sizes that I made everything and in the, in the cartridges they came from and I opened up a new file and this time I just made it the same name but cut because I have the Cricut Create uh, I have to put everything instead of a 12 by 12 mat I move everything into a 12 by 6 mat. Now I'm going to show you an example of the cut. Yeah, this is the page that I want to cut. Okay, it's on page 2. It ended up being 3 pages so that I can separ separate everything and put everything to cut at the same time. This is the mat. I have my mat already set up with the colors that I want it to cut. Now, all I do is I connect my gypsy. Okay. All I do is right here on top, it's a spot for your gypsy to connect to the um, your Cricut. I keep it plugged into the back of the Cricut, same place as you would with the Design Studio. And all you do is plug it in. If I have it the right way. All you do is plug it in and you turn your Cricut on. Okay, you wait for your Cricut to power on and now in the basic form you're going to hit the, the, it looks like the tip of a um, craft knife. Craft knife. You're going to hit the craft knife, knife button. And that will bring up exactly what you want to cut. Next, it's going to say load mat. So you put your mat in, your Cricut, exactly the way you have your paper set up. Then you hit load mat. Sorry, I got a little glare on there. You hit the load mat button. The mat is all loaded, and then all you do is you hit the cut button. And it'll ask you before it cuts to check your pressure and your blade depth to make sure for sure everything is okay. Then you hit okay. And you just let it cut. And that's what it does. While it's cutting, there's a little icon that flashes on and off that says cutting. Unlike the design studio, you can hit pause is the button over here to pause your cut if you if your paper starts to lift up or something so you can press it back down or you can completely stop the cutting by hitting the, the uh, square cube and that'll completely stop the cutting once it's done cutting this will come up cutting complete what do you want to do you can either unload the mat add to design or return to design 
what I want to do right now is I want to unload my mat. And then after it's done unloading, it'll take you right back to um, your design that you have cut out. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the rest of the things the exact same way that I cut this one out. And I'm going to show you my completed project when I'm all done. Okay, this is my finished page. Uh, as you can see, on the happy birthday, I added the pink stickles. I also added uh, the homemade glimmer mist on the balloons. And I added just uh, crystal stickles where the white or the highlights of the balloons are. I added ribbon and double card stocked uh, the places for my photos and my journaling spot. Uh, the ribbon is loose at the bottom so the picture can just slide down behind there on both. I just cut squares and little rectangles down at the bottom and wrapped them in ribbon to make it look like presents. And they're pop dotted out so that your picture can still slip right behind there. On the cake, I added stickles to the flame of the cake. And I did glimmer mist on the happy birthday and on the accents on the cake and on the parts of the candle. Uh, and on the happy birthday, I added flowers with rhinestones at the bottom of the cake. And I cut the cake stand out in silver to make it look like it's a cake stand. That is my finished project. Uh, and I used my... Cricut Gypsy, the same as I did before with designing it on there and then cutting out all my pieces. Thanks for watching my videos.